But you know what? Megan and Gavin asked, as I said, these people have been following us for years. And initially, we didn't want to come out politically because we know it's going to alienate half our fan base. Yeah. We was conservative for years. Mm-hmm. But when, once all these people started trashing us and like talking down to us, I said, like, you know what? Let's come out of the closet. Just tell everybody we're conservative. <laughs> I don't want these people following. So yeah. we kept doing the videos and kept doing them. And, and, and we never knew it was going to take off the way it did. I think I was actually believing the left, saying everybody on the right was white supremacists, and they wouldn't really like me to begin with. But, man, our fans have really supported us. And as a black man, I've been all over this country, and I don't see all this racism, all this hatred that the left's preaching about. This fundamentally, the typical American are just great people and just want to be left alone, and they want to just have the opportunity to live the American dream. That's all everybody wants. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the response to that would be, you can't. There is no opportunity for the American dream if you are born black in America. Whether you know it or you don't know it, the system is designed to keep you down. And yeah, if I believed that, I wouldn't be where I am right now. And a lot of people need to take a look at America as our worst enemies a lot of times is ourselves. If no opportunity is there for you, sometimes you got to go out and create your own opportunities. That's what we did. Yeah. And created my own opportunities. Yeah. Sometimes people are like, I'm black, I don't have any opportunity. Maybe your opportunity is not because you're black. Maybe you're just in a, um, it's just that maybe you're not a good person. Maybe you, you don't have any skills to, where people will give you opportunity. Make greater decisions. Yeah. Make your own opportunity. That's what you have to do. This is America. You, you have so much opportunity on the internet and just a traditional way of earning a living is, is, is gone. You can earn a living on the internet. You can make money so many ways and earn the American dream. It's not even yeah. funny. Because it's, it's still yeah. the greatest country on this planet. Amen to that. I had um, Jordan Belfort, the Wolf of Wall Street on the show, um, I don't know, yeah. a month or a month and a half ago. And he has these great tweets, which sum up a lot of thoughts that I've also had. And one of them is just in response to virtually anything. Sad story. No one cares. <laughs> like, just work right. harder. You know, just work harder. E- everyone has had troubles and things stacked against them. And it's like either you choose to harp on it and consider yourself a victim and sit around saying, woe is me. Or you forge forward, you work harder, you double down, and you can get you can get there. We, good lord, we've had a black president of the United States. You can get there. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think the left really wants to um, liberate people. They want to enslave people. I mean, like just the term white privilege. Yeah. People actually believe that. A lot of my black uh, people in my family, of, well, of course they're black because I'm black. I'm talking about like my cousins, <laughs> uncles, aunts, and stuff like that. They actually believe. In white privilege. And if you actually believe that, you're already screwed. Yeah, you already believe that you're a substandard. You're yeah, not as good as white people. Like, I sit down with a lot of blacks and they say, look at this beautiful white girl. She's got all this white privilege. I said, no, she's not successful because she's white. She happens to be a beautiful girl that's white, but she's very good at what she does. Mm-hmm. The skin color has nothing to do with it. Yeah. Well, and, and obviously you can point to a lot of white people who haven't been successful either, right? Who, who look the same mm-hmm. as somebody or whatever. But I understand one of you guys, I don't know which one of you, but one of you had experienced what we're all going through, which is like the, the CRT stuff being shoved on your, I read it was one of your son uh, in school, basically yeah, yeah, being yeah. told, yeah, he's not going to get ahead because he's black. So who, whose son was that? <laughs> it was you. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> okay, it was Kevin. So why is that funny? That's like it's crazy. This is being taught in school. Yeah. When you send your kid off to school, and I had no idea this was going on because I was totally oblivious. Most parents are oblivious that this is being taught. Yeah. And when he comes home with this stuff, and I'm like, this is crazy. I send you to school to get an education, to better yourself. And people are telling you you're not going to be successful because of your color, your skin. I was like, that is this total madness. I mean, as a black parent, yeah. send your kids to school so the teachers can teach them how dumb and black they are and how they're not going to be as successful as white, white people. It's just, yeah. I mean, I, can, I just can't believe that something like this has happened in the it's, United States of America. And some schools are even lowering the standards for people of color when it comes to reading and math, and they're not being treated as equal. So yeah, you don't think yeah. you're not equal. Yeah. 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 Nothing says equality like black people can't do math. Right. I mean, that's yeah. it's ridiculous. And, and by well, the way, then you set all these kids up to fail at the next college at the next level of schooling, like college. Right. Yeah. And that's just something that's not even being pushed in the black community. Yeah. I mean, there's, it's just like a culture within the black community. It's like if you go to college, it's like you're trying to be white. Yeah. Like my daughter, who's just went to high school, they say she sounds white because she like 
talks proper, <laughs> which is bizarre. Yeah. W- why is proper considered white? You know? <laughs> that, that's what Jason being, Riley being says. Being able to do math is white. I was like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. That's what Jason Riley says. He's a Wall Street Journal uh, reporter and columnist who wrote such a great book. It's just so simple and easy to read. It's please stop helping us. That's the name of his book. And he's talking about Black yeah. America to the feds. Like, stop helping us. Your help continues to set us back at every turn. It's not help of any kind. And he talks about growing up in Buffalo, New York, where he was criticized and, so- and somewhat bullied for acting white, talking white. And really, he was just an avid reader, learner you know, wanted to make something out of his life, but got a lot of blowback from, from some corners for doing that. Yeah, it's it's really bizarre. It's like, I have to talk and dress and sound a certain way. Like, I'm supposed to sound like who? Snoop Dogg? Yeah. I'm not from Long Beach. I'm from Martinsville, Virginia. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's like, that's why we came out with our own children's book. We partnered up with Brave Books. Um, um, it pushes <laughs> back against the whole CRT nonsense. Yes. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, and it's like, I mean, I wanted to go back to the days where Martin Luther King judged people by the content of that character, not by the color of the skin. And no, that's you're what not CRT allowed to do that now. Again. You're out of date, yeah, Keith. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, when you when you look at color and situations and you base it up on that person's skin color, it's dumbing you down. It's lowering your IQ. You're not seeing life correctly. You're looking at through a racist lens that you're trying to prevent. Yeah. It just flaws all our thinking when you base everything on a person's skin color. Yeah, I know. And yet we see examples of it every day. It must be very frustrating. It's frustrating to me as a citizen and the and the mother of three kids. So I don't want learning this stuff. But I'm sure as black conservatives, it's got to be driving you especially insane. Can I ask you, did you go in there, Kevin, and say, don't, don't teach my kid that? Like, have you openly pushed back on it at the school? Because I think it'd be a lot harder to dismiss Kevin Hodge than it would be to dismiss Megyn Kelly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my wife went in. Um, I try to, um, I don't really go into the school system unless necessary because of who I am and what I say on YouTube. So I don't want my kids to have to deal with that. I just want my kids to be normal. I don't, I tell my kids, don't tell people what your dad do or who your dad is. You can, uh, you can um, say some things, but I don't want people to know who your dad is because you could get some pushback or you could get bullied because the majority of kids, especially people of color, they don't really understand what politics is all about. They mm-hmm. All they know is that people that's on the right is racist and the people on the left are good people. That's, mm-hmm. You know, so that's I, right. I try to keep away and I try to keep them from my popularity because yeah, it can only hurt them. Yeah, we just, yeah, we keep a connection with our kids so we tell them what's going yeah. on. Yeah.